Yeah, good morning, everybody. Um, at 7.42am this morning, uh, police received a call from a very distraught mother in regard to her vehicle being stolen with her four-month-old child uh, affixed or seated in the rear of the vehicle. Um, at that time, police have responded uh, to uh, and conducted a search immediately for a white 2009 Honda Jazz sedan. Uh, Mum's described that the baby uh, seated in a capsule in the rear seat. And on the initial call, it appeared the vehicle had obviously been stolen. Our police attendants revealed that a male had uh, exited another stolen grey utility. This was at uh, 4th Avenue at Clemsey and uh, left the stolen vehicle, hopped in the Honda Jazz and driven from the scene uh, at that time with Mum trying to intervene and stop him from leaving. Our police um, naturally appealed to the public and the media and we thank you for that. Um, and threw an, a large number of resources into that area in an attempt to search for that vehicle. Uh, sometime later at 10.09 this morning, uh, police have located that vehicle at Wilkinson Avenue at Enfield and uh, thankfully seated in the rear is the child. Uh, SA Ambulance has attended along with police and now mum and we can confirm the child is safe and well. Uh, so it is a great relief to uh, SA Police to reunite mum and child. As I reiterate, a four-month-old, uh, you can imagine the distress that that caused mum. Um, as a result, um, we have released, and you're well aware, we have images of a suspect. Police are still actively looking for that male. Um, and we do appeal to the public, please, for anybody that may have seen this Honda Jazz with the registration Sierra 619AXE or previous to that to have seen the grey utility which is a Mazda BT ute and that's registered Sierra 672AZT. Uh, anybody that's got any information, dash cam or otherwise police are very interested to talk to police through Crime Stoppers to assist in now what is a, an active and ongoing investigation. At this stage, the baby hasn't gone to hospital. Uh, the assessment at the scene is uh, satisfactory, but uh, certainly mum's going to get the baby checked by a doctor. How was the car found? Was it, was it through um, members of the public um, or through police work? At this stage, we believe it's police have located the vehicle. Was the man spotted running from the vehicle? Uh, I don't have anything on the investigation of the, the male having exited the Mazda. All we have at the moment was uh, imagery of him taking the vehicle from the stolen ute. In terms of resources for looking for this baby, do you have hundreds from every district uh, this morning? Every available resource we had in the metropolitan area was deployed. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't deploy Polair due to the weather closing in, but that was on standby. Uh, if the weather changed, so we used everything possible that we, we had available in the metro area. How would you describe this kind of offending? Uh, look, at, to, to call it despicable is uh, an understatement. Um, we potentially are looking at illegal use and kidnapping uh, for the primary offences, but you can imagine from any parent's point of view, it's, uh, it's more than distressing um, that a child would be taken under any circumstances. Do we know um, what the circumstances were in terms of the mother leaving the child in the car? What, did she leave the keys in the car, went to get some groceries? At this stage, all we understand is that mum's momentarily left the vehicle. Um, and the male's taken that opportunity. And, sorry, and, and she, you mentioned that she tried to fight back. Um, well, I've, got a, uh, I've seen uh, images of mum trying to rush to the car. Immediately she saw the male and the car moving. Was her phone left in the car? So did you track her phone? We did have um, um, a device in the car, but uh, we had limited tracking ability. Uh, as you've seen, we have images at this stage, but an active investigation to identify and locate that male. You don't know his name? No, not at this stage. And would you say this is opportunistic in terms of his behalf? Uh, I wouldn't speculate about that. Um, certainly opportunistic in terms of stealing the car. Um, but um, I won't go into the investigation, but as I said, the offences may include kidnapping. 
Let us with the police investigation this morning. Obviously, you guys received word, um, I think you mentioned about 7.40, then the post was put up at around 8 o'clock. Did the, how was the public response? Did they, uh, was there a lot of assistance given to you guys on, um, on the whereabouts of this car? Was there any sightings that um, were confirmed? So, and again, thank you to media as well as the public getting that message out as soon as we possibly could. We put the message out looking for the vehicle and we had numerous calls on white Mazdas which we followed up every single one of them to determine if that was the vehicle. And that was widely across the entire metro um, area. And then at the same time, what we deploy is some resources looking also at the traffic camera network. So we actually go to traffic control centre at Norwood and actually looked at intersection cameras. Um, so every available resource, excuse me, and then any other means that we can that, that may pick the vehicle up. But the response from the public has been phenomenal and we do thank them. What's what's next for investigations? Uh, naturally, we've processed scenes, crime scenes. Um, we have from where the utility was stolen this morning, where this vehicle was stolen this morning, the Mazda, and now the recovery. And obviously with that, we'll door knock and check CCTV on every location, as well as we're rapidly moving with any forensic evidence uh, from any of those crime scenes. Where was the ute stolen from? So the where, ute? Where was the ute stolen from? The ute was stolen from um, East Avenue at Black Forest at 0620 this morning. You said you believed it was the police um, that found the, um, the, the vehicle, yes. Vehicle. How they spotted that? Was that well, that's part of our search parameters is to keep putting uh, larger and more resources to cover every street they picked it up. Is the suspect known to the mother at all? Is there any relationship? Don't believe there's any relationship whatsoever. So, um, on the available evidence at this stage, it appears that um, he's dumped the utility and taken the opportunity to grab the other vehicle. Do you think he was aware that there was a child in the back seat or was it purely just a coincidence? Uh, I can't speculate on that at this stage. At this stage, it appears it's entirely random if there's no relationship with the... It random in terms of a relationship, yes. But I won't speculate on um, taking a vehicle with a child. Do you think it's quite a terrifying reminder to parents? What's oh, absolutely. It? To any parent. Um, it's probably the greatest, um, I guess, you know, create the greatest amount of distress to any parent to see this happen. Um, and look, it is a reminder to any parent. Um, be careful. But, uh, on, as I said, I can't comment. I don't know what... The, I don't believe the mother's done anything wrong in that context. I think in this case, everything's been done by the offender or suspect. So, yeah, no, we're not apportioning any blame to the mum at all. Mum's done her absolute best. What was the reason for the theft of two vehicles? Is there any particular purpose other than simply riding from one place to the next? Or is there uh, some cause of the end? Uh, we won't know until our investigation is completed. Uh, hopefully to pick up this suspect is to find out reasons why. So uh, I, I can't, pure speculation. In terms of the baby, um, obviously we all know that young newborns need to be fed regularly. Was the baby hungry, crying, in distress, although he's okay? Uh, all I can say is baby's okay without going into details of uh, um, whether the child is distressed or not. We just don't have those particulars. And how's the mother doing? She's obviously very relieved. I'd suggest she's extremely relieved uh, and very, very happy to be reunited with the baby. Um, and then, as I said, we'll support her in uh, to complete our investigation. Has there been any uh, sightings of the, of the offender since dumping the car with the baby? Uh, I can't speculate on that one either at this stage early in the investigation as to what we've got in terms of other evidence as to what the um, male suspect's done. Will there be, uh, obviously you said um, the letters hindered part of the search, but um, Paul there, hopefully lots of other clues as well? Oh yeah, absolutely, we'll put it up as soon as we get the first opportunity, but uh, again, it's a, it's down to a, a, a investigation and search to determine and locate this male. Was a child a boy or a girl? A boy, four-month-old boy. Oh, four-month? Um, is there any indication from the vision that you've seen so far that the offender is known to you? Um, at this stage, I can't speculate on, but um, we've certainly uh, got some active leads looking into it. As you can see from the images we put out, again, we're appealing to the public to assist us to assist in identifying that suspect. He wears a very distinctive hat. 
and he's wearing that uh, tradesman-like uh, clothing. So we actually are appealing to the public to assist us. Do you know who the individual is? What his name is? No, I don't know. And how old is Mum? Uh, Mum's 29-year-old Mum. No, I know none of those, my friend. I'm sure she's holding on to all of them very tight. You said that the car was found in Wilkinson Avenue, Anfield? Correct. And was the baby inside the capsule? I believe the baby's inside the capsule inside the car. Is it possible that uh, the vehicle had been there for some time before it was located, that it may have been dumped within a few minutes of being picked up? Uh, again, we don't know that. That will be speculation, and the investigation hopefully will, will guide us in that if there's any additional CCTV, etc or anything come from the public. But at this stage, I don't know. And the condition of the car when it was found, it, did it, I mean, the car was basically found as it was... Um... Yeah, I have no details on that, I'm afraid. Thanks, guys.